All right, so this video is about uh, how to make a poster using PowerPoint. So I'm just gonna go through some simple steps and hopefully it can be helpful to people who are uh, making a poster for the first time using PowerPoint. So when you open it up, it's gonna look something like this. You just wanna open up whatever PowerPoint um, version you have. I think this is one of the more recent ones. Um, you don't really have to have the most recent one, although some of the layout for the functions is gonna be different depending on which version you have. So when you open it up, it should look something like this. Now the first thing that I typically do is I clean up the surface of um, the document. So I might just select these and delete these text boxes. We're going to create our own um, and place them in different locations depending on what we're making. The next thing I might want to do is set the size. So I might go up here to, um, to the design part, click on design slide size and then custom slide size and then where it says width and height I can change that to fit the exact specifications of the poster for whatever conference. Conferences are going to vary on what their poster size limits are um, depending on how big the poster boards are and how much space they have. Um, so let's just say that I want to make a poster that is uh, 36 inches wide by 24 inches uh, high. So. We'll go here to width, we'll change that to 36, so three feet, and then two feet. Click OK. We can set this to ensure fit. And now our poster background is formatted to those exact specifications, so we kind of know what we're working with. Now the next thing I wanna do is just start building my poster. So I might go to insert, text box, click right here and then just start typing the title for my poster. We'll start with the title. So just add another one for good measure. And then we can change certain aspects of the title. We can move it around and do whatever we want with it. So let's uh, bold, increase the font size, then just move it around somewhere near the center of the poster. Um, I could add something about, you know, my name. Um, I could add my affiliation. Things like that. Move that around. All right. Now the next thing that I typically do is I like to add a break between the title and my name and then the content of the poster that might go down here. So I can click on shapes, I can add a line, something like that if I wanted to. I can change um, all kinds of different properties of the line, like the color, how wide it is, all of that stuff. If I wanted to make something a little different, I can insert um, a shape. I can go with the rectangle here. You know, just make the line a little wider. It's a different way to get the same type of result. You can change that to Fort Hayes colors. Something like that. If I had a file of like the FHSU logo, I could insert a picture, put that somewhere here, move it around, make it look really nice. Now the next thing you might want to do is start adding the different pieces of your actual poster. So you might have background, um, we can insert uh, hypothesis. Methods. Results. And then perhaps conclusions over here. Okay. Now you can tell that we've just got a bunch of words um, for these different sections. And then what you would do is hit enter, maybe change the font size a little bit, and then just start typing. So here is where background information would go. 
and then so on and so forth. If you have a hard time lining up these text boxes to make them look nice, um, you can always click on Format, then Shape Outline, and change it to where it's like a, a black or a solid um, color, and that way you know exactly where each one is going. And as you add text, it's obviously going to increase in size, but if you wanted to make it narrow, it's just going to wrap the text around. You can move these things around. If you wanted to move the background up here, and then the methods over here, you can do kind of whatever, but that gives you an idea of how to build a poster. And of course, once you're finished, you'll want to make sure that you save that. Um, you can do all kinds of really cool things. So hopefully this has been somewhat helpful, and uh, you can always feel free to contact me if you have any questions, um, and I would be happy to help. So, thanks.